All right, I have another couple of hours, so I decided to hit the Honey Hill side. Uh, not, not much so far, I got uh, Hong Kong 20 cents and one uh, George the Sixth penny. But in an area where I found stuff before that came out of the ground and a bit squeaky signal, but it was hitting 70s. Let's see which one is that. Okay, it's a newer one. It's George. It's George the sixth time. I might not be able to get the year right now, but it there was still a silver here. All right, see you on the next. All right, uh, just uh, an inch down. TTC talked current one I think worth three dollars in fur good for one fur all right on my way to the target looks like all their marble cool I like finding those marbles this one's pretty nice all right let's see what the target was I'm gonna check on it uh, uh, on the next clip. I am out uh, in the nice park with uh, Mike Degen Canada. Uh, he got like four flat buttons already, uh, but we we're not getting really that much in terms of coins. Really, that's first coin older coin that I got here it's only 39 1939 George George coin but uh, that's a good sign about four inches down not too bad of a shape hopefully there is more here I'll see you on the next good signal all right uh, I got some sort of signal here uh, not too deep maybe three inches down uh, started digging it something shiny showed up right there I don't know if you can see it right there uh, I don't know what that is yet it uh, the signal was going from like 74 to 82 uh, so it could be something good yeah it's a quarter I have not gotten a quarter in a long long time it's not an oldie but it's a goodie 1952 oh it's good condition early Elizabeth quarter wow nice well I guess I'll be staying in this area because uh, we're thinking no more than half an hour that maybe maybe it's not gonna be so great here but uh, uh, we're getting some some silvers so excellent see you on the next good signal all right Mikey good call coming here right. Mikey just got uh, what four dimes in a quarter so we're doing well this morning in this one sp small spot the rest of the park didn't really good that good look that good uh, so I got a lot of uh, sp uh, change over here that's uh, near where I got the quarter uh, so I've been thinking there's been a lot of parting going on here or something like that uh, so I'll dig some of those uh, lower signals maybe I'll get a nickel turns out to be hello hell of a nickel I think can you see this okay let's caress it like a quarter hoarder oh yeah oh yeah this appears to be gold it's heavy too I can tell right away it's gold oh yeah all right let's see there is some kind of markings. 
as usual I'll have the when Mike's with me with his good young eyes at the bottom maybe the dirt's covering it I thought there was something there at the bottom it's gold for sure yeah it's heavy all right I'm gonna clean it up and uh, we'll get back to you on that one all right so on the gold ring uh, it's for sure gold it's very heavy but I can't really see any markings but uh, I got a uh, couple signals in this hole uh, there is something here appears to be a coin of some sort oh okay uh, I think it's a subway token, subway token. that's why it wasn't shining so well yeah. good for one fair not anymore actually because it's an older one all right still goes to my subway token collection all right uh, got myself three inches down some kind of a mystery find I have no idea what that could have been well it's kind of brassy gold plated type of thing well who knows weird for sure all right see you on the next all right this might turn out to be a great outing right Mike yeah. all right uh, there is something there in the hall showed me like uh, deep like eight inches but uh, I don't think it was that deep maybe maybe five to six looks like uh, I think it's silver, just judging by the weight. It's Eddie. No. George the Fifth. George the Fifth. Dime. Wow. George the Fifth dime. I haven't gotten one of those in a while. It's a bit slick. I don't think. Let's see. If we can read the year. I think the year is gone. Off of this pretty one. Worn. Yeah, it is pretty worn, but it's a, it's a good sign. Yeah. for the area Mike's moving already <laughs> all right that's nice nice to get uh, an older dime all right I'll see you on the next good signal turning out to be a great day Mike's hiding in the bushes but he's gonna come over now he better come over what is it it's good size and it's the right color it's good size and the right color, a little bit shallower than the than the kingy king. It's right there. I picked it up a little bit, it was a little bit lower. It's silver quarter. It's a sure. quarter? Wow. Let's see how old that is. That's a newer one. Wow. I haven't been getting a lot of this. Uh, let's get out to the shade this uh, later usually my quarters are George the six or George the fifth but uh, I'm getting two of those already today it's uh, turning out to be a good day can you see the year uh, I think it's a 55 55 nice, nice. All right, I'll see you on the next good signal. All right, uh, after digging with Mike, since the park was farther away from where I live, I moved uh, a little bit closer to the park that I get a lot of stuff. But there isn't that much anymore. Uh, hit an area where I got a lot of older, older pennies, the IHP area. And uh, we got 1929 King George honey, not too deep, about three inches down. Cool. All right, uh, right after I got, uh, 
I got uh, the 1929 penny. I kept digging because I heard the signal. It was a little wide, but uh, I think I found something different. I really don't know what that is yet. It's a woman looking to the right. It might be an older coin. Foreign maybe. Juliana. Could be an older one too. Uh, I don't think it's an older one. 1951, one cent. I'll get to figure it out at home, but it's cool, fine. All right, I'm out for a little hunt. Uh, didn't set up yet. I got my stuff on the bench. What's there? A couple quarters. And uh, two dollars. Modern spill. All right, and it's a Washington, 1983. Cool. All right, wrap up time. A uh, couple hands here. I mean, actually a little bit more than couple. I had, uh, I went back to the Honey Hall, Honey Hill, my Honey Hill uh, spot. Uh, which surprisingly still giving up uh, a tiny bit a um, couple hours there then I had the uh, slightly longer hunt with uh, Mike digging Canada um, I think that was about uh, four or five hours um, that was in a park uh, a 50s park but with some earlier history uh, we did pretty well there and uh, just today uh, got out for, for uh, uh, about an hour checked uh, a new spot that didn't pan out um, just modern pennies a very tiny small spot not even a park uh, but I was hoping it was in the older part of town and I was passing by so I decided to check it out mm, crickets uh, unfortunately and uh, since I had uh, about uh, an hour of time left I went to a park uh, my Charlie Park I've been killing this park for a long time since beginning of the spring so uh, not always you can find something I, you know uh, uh, I'm digging pull taps now and uh, most of the times times they're just pull taps and a uh, couple squeakers here and there um, so I got I got a few George pennies out of there and Wheaties um, but uh, nothing nothing else anyway uh, so uh, the more interesting finds uh, other than uh, uh, than coins there wasn't really much that was uh, creepy to find I was digging a hole for a copper penny I think and uh, that was uh, that opened up uh, when the plug opened up that was there so that was a bit creepy I seem to find uh, the same stuff at the same time time as the Mike Wyman Malliman 24 go check out his channel um, in Connecticut East Hampton so I got this uh, tire weight 
he just got a tire weight actually he got half of the tire weight so uh, obligatory keys couple wiser keys uh, and this uh, slightly older copper key um, this little piece says Emerson I believe must be from a lighter 19, patent 1974 uh, oh this was uh, actually cool it's like a piece of uh, some kind of copper animal so that's probably the coolest kind of relic you find and this uh, uh, top of something and a marble marble was a cool find too I got that uh, on honey hill while digging for something else um, got a bit of clad thanks to a spill today uh, on the surface under the bench uh, so we got what two dollars two fifty to sixty three dollars in Canadian change and uh, I haven't been getting much Americans but uh, this was mostly surface stuff I think uh, uh, except for a couple of them uh, so we got two quarters a nickel and two dimes not bad um, got uh, two TTC tokens and older ones uh, unfortunately they can't be used anymore but they're always neat to find I think this is uh, this one's not focusing very well the one that says Subway is the older one and this one was uh, from the 60s I think they started making this one in 64 if I'm not uh, mistaken a couple of interesting foreign coins uh, 1998 Hong Kong 20 cents not showing up very well on video and uh, this 1951 one cent from uh, Netherlands pretty good condition uh, 1951 a little Dutch money I think my first and uh, this I this was called I, I was uh, I was walking my daughter I walked my daughter to school and on the way back there is a bunch of old trees encompassing the school the school is new um, there was a school there before from the 20s so there is a possibility there that there's uh, maybe some things left over from the older times because otherwise the ground was redone I detected there for a couple really short times before and uh, just got clapped but I was able to hide this on the surface so maybe I'll just hit that one day just on the edges um, okay I got uh, 1929 King George penny there it is and uh, some uh, young Elizabeth pennies 50s and 60s six of them got some older Wheaties this time 1937 1920 1930 and 55 and uh, got about uh, I got 11 uh, King George the six uh, pennies uh, one is missing here because I gave it to a guy there was a guy on the bench visiting from Brazil and he was talking to me and I figured uh, you know I'm gonna give him one um, 
so I got a uh, couple 13 to 39s so they're always nice nice to, to get I'm not gonna go through all the numbers as usual but uh, I want to go to the good finds and the good finds are so on a I squeak in one more silver from the honey hill that is silver number 17 from there including one uh, silver kids ring so there were 16 coins and one ring over there I'm still gonna return there when I have some time uh, don't hope for my, more silver but uh, you just never know and uh, the rest of the good stuff was on the hunt with uh, with uh, Mike digging Canada uh, he got a lot of buttons older buttons there I just did not have uh, enough luck to get one maybe if we go back there again maybe I'll be able to squeeze uh, a relic like this out of the ground uh, but uh, I was uh, more lucky on on size quality and uh, age here um, he got a lot of dimes though I think he got at least six or seven dimes uh, mostly more mo modern silver after you know I think uh, uh, Elizabeth silvers um, so I I got uh, that's 62 quarter and 55 quarter it felt really good because I didn't find quarters in a while uh, so. and I don't really have that many Elizabeth quarters they're mostly King George the sixth so every year I, that I find it's probably in New Year for me, uh, the one that I didn't have yet. Uh, this KG5 dime, too bad it's a slick. I I tried to clean it a little bit, and I thought I saw a hint of five there while I was cleaning it, but uh, uh, didn't want to over clean it so. Uh, uh, at the end of the cleaning I couldn't see that f hint of five and five at the end not that it matters much could be anything 15 25 35 uh, to me I think this might be an older one because of just the way how slick it is so it's been in circulation for a while it was fairly deep I think about six inches so uh, so my thinking it was uh, it was probably an older one and uh, I got myself a uh, gold ring number two for the year oh I'm so happy with this getting this one although it's not marked but it does sound like gold on the detector and the substitute would have uh, came out in a more of a high tone range I think and uh, it is heavy it looks like gold it might be even a higher card because it's a bit scratched up so who knows uh, I'll have to check it out one day that's cool to find yeah so gold number two for the gold ring number two for the year I think uh, gold piece number three pure gold piece number three and I had one piece that's uh, that was a mixed silver and gold so that uh, confused my count because didn't know how to classify it anyway uh, so I think these coins brought me up to 60 coins, silver coins for the year 
and uh, I think I have about nine rings silver plus two gold so 11 11 rings precious metals I think total about slightly over 80 silver pieces uh, found so far this year all right uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribing and uh, liking and uh, and thank you for watching even if you dislike the video and uh, happy hunting to those who hunt otherwise all have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.